this country now has become so hostile to evangelical Christianity and objective truth that would challenge people's personal morality. I think if this uh, pattern continues, we will have lost the opportunity to win this country back. In the north of England, it's become needy in locations like Blackpool, which is probably one of the most needy places in the United Kingdom. This area is uh, economically depressed. They have a huge problem with alcohol, drugs. The city is just going down. And so we're here responding to an invitation by the churches of Lancashire and Blackpool uh, to come to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. We think about the spiritual state this country's in at the moment, and many of us have got faith to see something really significant come as a result of this Lancashire Festival of Hope. I believe and I have been praying for this festival, and I believe that God is going to show the glory again to this country. There's power in prayer and God is moving in this place. There's going to be a lot of safe lives in Blackpool. Praise God. God sent his son Jesus Christ from heaven to this earth on a rescue mission for you. To save you. He came to this earth and he shed his blood and he died on a cross. He was buried for our sins. God raised him to life and Jesus Christ will come into each and every heart that is willing to call him. The Bible tells us that God so loved you, so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believe in him should not perish, but should have eternal life. If you're here tonight and you're not sure your sins are forgiven, you've got a moment tonight to confess that sin to God and ask for his forgiveness and tell him you're ready to turn and believe on the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And if you're here tonight and you want Christ to come into your heart, into your life, to cleanse you and to forgive you, I want you to get up and come right now. What stood out to me was Jesus loves us and it's never too late to accept him into your life. All my sins have been forgiven. That's just amazing. Now, how can someone love me that much even though I've done nothing for him? I just, wow. Seeing people stack up at the front, seeing them respond to Jesus, there's nothing that beats that. I've seen what the Lord's done this weekend. Hundreds of people committed themselves to following Jesus as Lord and Saviour. A church that's leaving this place today emboldened and galvanised for evangelism. My heart is full, you know, and I am just so grateful for what God's done. But this isn't the end, this is just the beginning. 